Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves and today's going to be a quick shave. Um, yeah, going with some familiar equipment and also software that I'm learning to use. Um, so yeah, let's get right at it. Hope you guys are having a good day. Um, it's a holiday, federal holiday for uh, some of us. Um, and uh, yeah, happy Juneteenth and uh, yeah, let's get right at it. Um, software is going to be Iberia by Shanna Soaps and collaboration with the Razor Company in the, I think it's a Chupacabra base, if I'm not mistaken. Um, does it say? It doesn't say anywhere, but I think it's the Chupacabra base. I don't know if you can tell by the ingredients, but I know all Shannons have three bases. They're um, kind of the regular base, Chupacabra, and then something uh, like Rust, Rust Belt Reserve or something. Um, the three tiers, I think this one's a, the mid tier, but um, that's how it looks like. Small tub, three ounce. Um, I've used this a couple times, <clears throat> but um, I, I still don't feel familiar with it, so I wanted to try it out today. And one thing that I noticed when I was lathering it, bowl lathering it, is that um, it didn't puff up in volume immediately. It actually didn't puff up in volume at all. It kind of stayed uh, dense and Kind of that low structure uh, had some of those properties. Um, looks very creamy, uh, well hydrated. Using my Wolf Whiskers uh, Ocean Luminescence brush with the fan cashmere knot, and yeah, it looks like it has some tiny bubbles in the lather, but I think it'll do fine. Yeah, so just from the looks of it, it looks low structure, uh, but uh, yeah, let's get at it. Um, I have the Cube 2.0 pre-shave on, on two days ago, so should be a fun one. Here we go, let's uh, wet the face and get lathering. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Some chill from the pre-shave menthol. Hmm. And I could kind of see why, uh, Chris from INCDB really likes this base. Like I don't really need to like work it in. It's already well hydrated and <clears throat> kind of maintains this nice dense property of lather. Now I like to work in the lather. This is gonna puff up the volume a bit, but to help lift the hairs as well. But yeah, it's not it's not puffing up a lot. It's kind of maintaining this uh, high density, low volume kind of leather, which is, um, you can see that in a couple of the <clears throat> mod modern soap artisans like Barrister Man, maybe Milk Steak, um, I think sterling tends to be kind of in the mid structure side. It puffs up a bit, but it still remains dense. Uh, <clears throat> and these terms doesn't really affect the shave that much. I think it's just something to notice. Mm. <clears throat> Most of these soaps are slick and slick enough to shave. That's all that matters. All right, now it's gaining in some volume. Um, I think it can take more water. Seems to be a thirsty soap. <clears throat> yeah, add a bit more here. <clears throat> Paint that on. A little more water. <clears throat> mm. Alright, so 
maintains this pretty dense lather. Very nice. It does remind me of the Omnibus base, but this one is quite a bit more affordable. Yeah, I got this tub for 10 bucks, but it is also three ounces compared to the Omnibus base, which is uh, four ounces for about 20 bucks, but still. Um, Leather-wise, nice, creamy, hydrated. It was very enjoyable to work with. <clears throat> Should, it should provide good slickness <clears throat> for the blade to glide. All right, let's get on with it. As for the razor and blade today, I haven't used this in a while. I used it a couple days ago off camera and I enjoyed it, but maybe the blade pairing wasn't the best, but I'm gonna continue at it today. I'm gonna be going with the Mamba 53. This is the Razor Rock Mamba 0.53 blade gap. Uh, one of the mildest razors out there. I think uh, I... <clears throat> It's comparable to like a Gillette Tech or maybe the Henson Medium, maybe slightly under that, but it's got that curved head similar to the Baby Smooth with minimal blade gap and a little bit of blade exposure. And the blade I have in there is uh, Gillette Minora. I don't know if you can see that over there. Gillette Minora Stainless. <clears throat> so let's see how it goes. Quite a mild shape, but I find it still efficient enough to give me a DFS. <clears throat> a little bit harder for a BBS result, but uh, it is doable. Here you go, first pass with the grain. Oh yeah, and then the Shannon soap is providing excellent slickness. This razor, oh, and with this razor, you want to find an angle. It's a pretty narrow angle, but once you find it, I find it easy to shave with. And you want to allow for the most blade on your skin because it doesn't. There is not a lot of blade exposed, so. For me, with these mild razors, I um, allow for the most blade to be in contact with the skin. And this is a Minora blade on a second use. Doing good today. Oh man, this lather is just dripping all over the razor. Very creamy. This handle is not my favorite. It doesn't have a lot of knurling, but it has these uh, vertical or horizontal knurlings. Not really uh, um, those diamond grippy knurlings like the Envoy, but <clears throat> it's it, it's just enough to not make it slippery, but once you get lather on there, it does get a little bit slippery. But good enough for now. All right, ooh, yeah, good bit of residual slickness. Still plenty of hair left. Um, not the most efficient razor out there. I would say in the medium efficiency side, maybe a little bit less than medium. Uh, <clears throat> so I definitely gonna need second pass and clean up. Oh, well, the scent on the soap is, I believe it's a dupe of Creed um, Bois de Portugal, or I forget, but it's, it's a dupe of Creed. Um, I'd say it's a bit mature scent, a bit musky, a little bit sweet. Kind of has a hint of like tobacco scent to it. It's nowhere close, but I, I, I do sense similarity to it. <clears throat> and it doesn't taste good. Leaving a little bit on my mouth. <laughs> a 
but uh, yeah, excellent slickness. I think the blade feels a bit smoother today than the first use with it. This is the second use with the Gillette Menorah blade. Feeling pretty good today. And the razor is cutting effortlessly. This is uh, one razor that some people really do not enjoy because of how mild it is, but I find it <clears throat> still enjoyable. I think I would enjoy the Mamba 70 version a bit more with the increased blade gap. Oh, there was a little bump over there. I felt like I cut something. But if you just want a mild DFS result, I think this one's a pretty good option. For a BBS, you definitely have to chase with this one. All right, decent results so far. Very getting close to the damn fine shave. So let's continue at it. One cleanup pass. I might do two cleanup pass, depending on how close I get. I don't need a BBS today, but. I don't mind a close shave. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, the lather is nice and creamy, slick, well hydrated. Took out about seven pinches of water, so a good bit of hydration there. Oh, and today um, I was planning on shaving with a straight razor, but I did an arm arm hair test with it, and it didn't cut. <laughs> so I was surprised. I don't know if I messed it up during stropping or something, but it wasn't cutting. So I'm actually interested in buying some honing stones to hone this razor. I don't want to get into it deep, but oh man, look at these lather just dripping. Crazy. But I just want to maintain the straight razor that I have. <clears throat> And I like doing things DIY, like do-it-yourself stuff. Uh, it's, it's fun to get to know different processes and how to best use these equipments to allow for a good result. And honing is definitely something that I'm, I'm not familiar with, but I think I can learn it. All right, not a BBS, but a damn fine shave right now. Um, let's go for one more cleanup pass, why not? <laughs> got plenty of lather, lather here. It's gonna go for a quick against the grain pass here. <clears throat> Go 
want to irritate my skin, but I do want a closer result. Super quick. Yeah, that was like a 30 second cleanup pass. All right, let's rinse up. All right, pretty good result today. I do feel some sting around this uh, neck area right here. Might have pushed it, but um, let's check it out. Rinse with some fresh cold water. It looks good, but I might have some stings coming up. <clears throat> Usual alum block test here. Okay, slight sting on the mustache. A light sting on the chin. And hmm, that was a bit less than I expected. Light sting on the neck as well. That's weird because if I have some sting before the alum, it usually results in like an average sting, but today that wasn't the case. Just a nice shade today with light sting all around. A pretty close result. This is one of the mildest razors that I have. I don't know if I have any milder razor than this one. Gelatech Tech is about the same aggression. Um, maybe Edwin Jagger. That's about. It's about the same mildness, but I think I prefer this one over the E eighty nine. This one just has a little more bite to it. All right, so nice Alan test there. Uh, really easy shave today. <clears throat> Pretty good result. Don't see any nicks or cuts anywhere or any redness, just so nice shave. Do have a little, little blemish here, but I don't think I can cut it. All right, nice. Ooh, that's pretty close, yeah. That almost feels like a BBS, but I'm sure there's Slight stragglers here and there, but that there's the slightest hair over here, but that feels like a BBS actually. So extremely close result for a good and um, only light thing on the alum. Let's go over the products really quick. Shannon soap Iberia. Um, takes a lot of water or seven pinches of water, so obviously that's about average, but. Um, it's got that nice sheen under the light. If you can see it, lather takes in water really well. And it maintains that low structure, high density kind of property of lather. And yeah, very slick, good residual, good, just good, good lather all around. Uh, and then use the Wolf Whiskers. It's a beautiful brush made by Peter Wolf. Go check him out, wolfwhiskers.com. And went with Raised Rock Mamba 53. Uh, with the Gillette Minora blade. It felt better on the second use with it than the first. Uh, and uh, yeah, resulted in a nice shave. Close, almost BBS, I think. Yeah, and only light sting on the alum. So, excellent result today. Great products. Uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, or whether it's in the morning or night, wherever you are. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.